Now the next chakra is called the sacral chakra. This chakra is housed right below the belly button. So if you put your hands together like this and sit it under your navel, that's where your chakra, your um, sacral chakra is. Now this chakra is very important because it houses your emotions and your creativity. So maybe you had a bad week. It happens to most of us. Maybe you're sad. And I remember when I was younger, I didn't really want to express those things to my parents. I just kind of dealt with it or I would talk to my friends about it. So if you're feeling emotional or you want to be more creative, one of the things that would really help your sacral chakra is dancing, bringing movement into whatever the space is. For me, it is playing one of my favorite songs, jumping up and dancing. Now, I'm also a mom, so I make my babies dance with me too. You can include your parents, you can maybe FaceTime your friends, or you can just do it solo and just start moving, getting your body to flow so that creativity can you know, stir up and pour out in whatever way that you may need it to. Just even for some excitement, um, balancing your emotions through dancing is good too because you kind of release things. So you're just using movement to kind of just like, you know, I don't want to hold on to these things. So think about it as a release, like, hey, I don't, I don't need this, I don't want this. So you just start moving and then you will notice afterwards, especially when you're playing your favorite song, that you'll feel so, so much better. Or you'll notice after dancing and you wanna stimulate your creativity, that you're like, man, I got some really good ideas because you're now free flowing and your mind isn't stressing over like how to make something work. So I hope that is helpful for your sacral chakra. The next one is the solar plexus, and that is the color yellow. So solar plexus is all about confidence. Now, I already told you guys, I was a bit nervous coming on here. So when I went into my room to dress up for tonight, I was like, I'm going to wear yellow because I want to be confident. I want to be sure of myself. I want to remind myself that I know what I'm talking about because I absolutely love the chakra system. However, when presenting in front of people, I can be a tad bit apprehensive. So I got on my yellow and I'm here confident. And one of the things that you can do to help you with your solar plexus and your confidence is to wear colors. What are your favorite colors? Like this yellow makes me feel super, super powerful because it's vibrant, it's light, and it's eye-catching. Like you can't feel sad with the bright yellow color on. So wearing your favorite colors, um, exercising or running in place definitely gives me confidence as well. And I hope that you can implement that too when you're ready to step out to do whatever it is that you need to do with confidence. And running in place became an activity for the solar plexus because I don't know if you run a lot. I typically don't. But when I do, I get a burst of energy. It's almost like an energy sur surge, which is different from dancing. I get a lot more clarity. I feel sure of myself and I'm trusting my body to move forward. So that's how you can use the solar plexus or stimulate the solar plexus through an activity.